Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru. It is October 3rd, 2024. I am here for my Wordle and Quirtle of the day and to say happy birthday to all you October babies out there. I absolutely love your gemstone of the month. Opal is amazing and so varied and so brilliant and the national gem of Australia. So I'm going to use opals as my inspiration word for the day. I don't really like the construction because it ends in an S, but hey, we might find out that there's an S somewhere in the word and that'll be okay for me. No, but there's an O and an A somewhere in the middle of the, in the, middle of the word. Maybe at the end of the word. Um, let's figure out what we're going to do with this. We've got an O and we've got an A and we need to place those. We could also try to match them with R, T, N, E. <sighs> Toner would give us a lot of those letters, but it wouldn't give us an A. Oh, but I like it. I do like it. I'm going to try toner. <laughs> I'm trying to sneak that A in. It was, it was not intentional. I don't know if I like this. I'm going to go for it. I don't care. I've been in that mood. All right, well, we didn't get the O. We got an N. We don't know where it is, but we got an N. Let's go ahead and start trying to place things. We know there's going to be an O here or here or here. Maybe it's A-O. No, wait. O-A is the way to go. O-A? Maybe it's something like... <sighs> I don't know. Um, let, let me just finish this. Susie, stay on one track. A could go here, 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 or here. N could go... So he was thinking broad, but it doesn't have an N in it. And I was trying to figure out how I could use the N and it didn't work. Here, 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 or here. So OA. All I can think of is broad because the O would start here. Um, I don't see how to make an N. So then what would the vowel configuration be? Then I think the most likely thing would be an O here and an A here. Like manner. <gasps> no, the end doesn't go there. Shoot. Oh, I thought I had it. <sighs> what would go after an O? If this configuration holds, what would go after an O? Maybe a T, maybe an N. The N would, would rest well there. Maybe a W. Maybe, maybe, maybe an M. I don't think so. I think maybe the N goes there. That's where it feels best. So what could we put in here? What, what would go there? I don't know. I don't even know if this construction is right. I don't know what I'm doing. What other letters haven't I used that are common? I just need to place the N, the O, and the A. Right? The N, the O, and the A. If this is what I think it's going to be, what could I make out of this? Mammon, but I don't think that's how you spell mammon. And it would use two M's, and I'm not even sure if there's an M in there. Um... Canon. No, because an N doesn't go there. And I was thinking of the, the, like, canyon spelled with, I mean, I know, yeah. I do know how to spell some things. And if I spelled it C-A-N-O-N, -N, that would be, like, canyon. <sighs> F. I should do this systematically. Q, no, it's not going to work. W, if I put a W here. Oh, wagon. Do I? Oh, I have the G. It could be wagon. Oh, that's a good one. I should just try that one. I'm going to look around just a little bit more. Ooh. 
I don't see anything else. If we do a Y, no, I don't like that. U, I, another N? Let me try another N. No, I don't see anything. Um, where was I? D. If I try a D there. No, I keep thinking of dragon and daikon, both that have more than five letters, so that doesn't work. I don't see anything. Um, should I just go with wagon? I'm going to try two more letters. Falcon, if I can have six letters. Um, I don't see anything. And what was the next one? G? Um, oh, I don't know. I don't see anything. I'm going to go with wagon. There's a chance it could be wagon. The least that will happen is we could try to place the A here and the O here and the N here, which is where I wanted to kind of look at things. I kind of wanted to look at the N here too, but wagon works and then we haven't tried the g yet and we haven't tried the w yet i think it's a good scout word and i'm hoping it's the word it's the word all right got it okay i had to fight with myself on that one did you notice all right so let's clean this up and let's get ready for our quirtle of the day i'm going to put in my four standard words i like to use fishy budge Clown, tramp, look at all that green down here, curve, right? Kind of has to be, C-U-R-V-E. I don't know anything else that could go in there, although sometimes I say that and then I hit the button and then I go, oh no, that's that one, I didn't, do, I didn't try that. Okay, curve, we got it. Um, miter, M-I-T-E-R, that could work. That miter work. Let's look over here. T. The S isn't going to go there. Um, toast. Ah, oh, toast. T goes here. O could go here. A goes here. S could go here. And we could have another T. I think that's going to work. And it'll help us to place or exclude the T here. We placed it. Okay, what is this? T H. E N K think I think it's not right. Um I don't know what that one is. T tenth. It's tenth. T E N T H. I was trying to put the H up here. I think it goes with the T back here. T could go here. E could go T does go there. E could go here. N could go here. We could have another T here, and the H could be placed here, and not much else can. That one is 10th. That gave us an E. Remit. Merit. Wait, what is it? Oh, shoot. I have to lay it out because I think I have too many options. Okay, so we can't put the T here, but we've already got the T. We don't have to worry about it. The R. The R could go here for remit, or it could go here. The M could go here for merit, but R doesn't go there for merit. Um, M could go here for remit, and the I could go here or here or here. It is remit. Ha, ah, got that one. Glad I didn't stick with miter. It might have been a bad situation. Like that pun. And that is it for me. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.